Okay, let's talk about how to multiply these polynomials. And we're going to be using a particular method called FOIL. So if you're watching this video, uh, I'm probably um, assuming that this method here, the FOIL, FOIL method, caught your eye. And maybe you're learning that in school. And uh, we're going to go over that and make sure you understand not only the FOIL method of multiplying polynomials, but just some things in general that you need to know about mu uh, multiplying polynomials because this particular method is kind of a special case method all right it's not going to work for every single polynomial you come across but i'll get to all that in just a second but first let me introduce myself my name is john i'm the founder of tablet class math i'm also middle and high school math teacher and over many many years i've constructed a ton of full comprehensive online math courses so if you need help in math, whether uh, you need to take a full math course or just need supplemental help uh, with the course that you're taking, I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. Again, if you like my teaching style, then you're going to find all my best instruction. I go over a, how to solve a ton of problems. Uh, obviously, I do that on YouTube, but not anywhere uh, near the level that's in my math program. Um, also, uh, if you look in the description or underneath this video, you'll see some notes there you could pick up if you're interested. Uh, Pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, trigonometry. So you got to have good study notes. That's one of the skills that you need to master as a math student or just a student in general. So take a look at your notes. If they're not so good, but you need good notes and what you do, okay, you could pick up a pair of mine and that could help you out. All right, so let's get into um, this method and uh, discuss what this is all about. All right, so the FOIL method is uh, one of these kind of uh, traditional uh, old school algebra terms, okay? I remember learning this back in high school decades and decades and decades ago, and I'm sure decades prior to that, people learned this method. So what does it stand for? Well, it stands for first outer inner last okay first outer inner last and uh, i'm gonna um, show you how to use this here in just one second but um, the foil method is an excellent little uh, acronym um, kind of helps us remember what to do but it's only applicable to multiplying a binomial times a binomial okay so let's just make sure we understand what a binomial is all right, so the best way to understand what a binomial is, is let's just take a look at things that are not. So if I have 2x, okay, in algebra, this is called a monomial. And all of these are, are uh, different types of polynomials, okay? So I know it's a lot of <laughs> well, names, but get these names down because these are important. So we have polynomials, polynomials, all right? So we're talking about all types of polynomials, okay? Now... The first type of polynomial, the simplest type, is called a monomial. Now, why would that be a monomial? Because that's a single term polynomial. Now, if I go 2x plus 3, this is a binomial because there's two terms, right? If I go 2x squared plus 3x plus 1, this guy right here, yes, you guessed it, it's called a trinomial. And then I can have as many terms as I uh, could possibly think of in a polynomial. You can have 5, 10, doesn't make a difference. Anything above and beyond uh, three terms, okay? And these guys, these individual pieces right here are called terms. Anything beyond three, we just refer to as a polynomial. So what we're talking about, this FOIL method, specifically uh, refers to multiplying two binomials, okay? Not a monomial times a uh, binomial, not a binomial times a trinomial, not a trinomial times a trinomial. You get the picture, right? A specific case of binomial times a binomial, like I have right here. Okay, so um, you got to really, really make sure you understand that, right? But the FOIL method is definitely a acronym worth learning. And uh, again, if you are watching this video, you're probably video, you're probably learning the FOIL method. So let's go ahead and make sure you understand it, and then I'll leave you with some other important information. Okay, so here's our problem. Again, we're going to use the FOIL method, and we'll just bring it up here real quick. F-O-I-L. Okay, so first, okay, so what are we talking about the first, right? Well, the first is these guys here are the first, 
all right? They're the first in these binomials. So that's a first and that's a first. So it's the first term in the binomial. So what the FOIL method is saying, and we're gonna just do this step by step, we're gonna multiply the first terms first, okay? So the way you do that is just, you don't have to draw these little lines, but you're gonna to have to go 2x times x. So you need to understand what is 2x times x. So obviously, hopefully you know that is going to be 2x squared, 2x squared, right? If you didn't know that, then you gotta work on your powers, okay? So that is the F part of the FOIL method. No big deal. So now, once you're done with uh, that step, we move on to the O part, right? So what does this that stand for, right? So this, let's just write this over here real quick. That's first, outer, inner, last. Okay, so first outer. So what are the outers? These guys are the outers, all right? So we're gonna multiply the outers. So, of course, why would they be called the outers? You guessed it, because they're on the very, very outside, right? So 2x uh, times 3. Now, this right here, got to be careful. You see the sign? Okay, this negative sign? That applies to that number there, okay? If you need to think of it this way, plus negative 3, that's fine too. But just don't forget that you have to include the sign, okay? So 2x times a negative 3 is negative 6 x okay so that was my outer step okay we're just doing this problem one step at a time as i indicated in the description because once you understand how to do one problem then you can do uh, as many problems as you like all right you're gonna have to be able to handle all these different type of uh, problems obviously in your homework tests, and quizzes okay so now it's time to the, uh, go to the inner right so we did the first we did the outer now we're on the inner what do you think the inners are? You got it, it's these guys right here. They're on the inside. So we're gonna multiply one times a positive x is going to be positive one x. Now, notice how I'm, I'm writing the answers, the results right underneath what I'm doing here, okay? And as you get better at the FOIL method, you'll just remember this in your in your uh, your mind. You, you know, if you need to write F-O-I-L down, that's fine, but you could just be like, okay, this is the first, this is the outer, this is the inner, okay, and just kind of have that little mental checklist going. But uh, write all your answers to your terms just like this and do it in order. Do the first, all right, this is the first, this was the outer, this was the inner, okay, and then obviously we're going to do the last, okay, we did the inner, so what are the last? The last is uh, the last terms of each of the binomials. So again, uh, be mindful of this sign. So this is one times a negative three. That's gonna be a negative three. And that is our last. I can write that a little bit better. Okay, so there you go, right? We got first, outer, inner, last. We got all of our terms here, but we gotta do some cleanup, okay? Because we can combine like terms. So 2x squared, there is no other x squareds, but we do have these two guys right here. These are like terms, okay? So negative 6x plus 1x is gonna be a negative 5x. So skills, I'm gonna write the final answer here, but the skills you need to have, okay, to multiply um, these binomials is you gotta understand how to multiply powers. So 2x times x, for example, is 2x squared. You gotta understand how to multiply positive and negative numbers, and then you obviously got to understand what like terms are and add positive and negative numbers. So let's go ahead and fully simplify this. This is 2x squared, negative 6x plus 1x is minus 5x, or negative 5x minus 3, and we are done. So let's give ourselves a little smiley face, all right, like a uh, some stars, 100%. Perfect, you turn that in. You're going to get some points on your test and quiz. So that is the famous uh, FOIL method. All right. Definitely got to know it. Okay. Absolutely. It's a great little method to uh, know. But what's, this, what's um, uh, the problem here? Okay. Well, the problem, there's no problem. But again, you can't do the FOIL method on a problem like this. All right. Thanks. Uh, Okay, so here we have a binomial times a trinomial, right? So you can't do 
the more uh, the foil method the foil method actually is just a nice little acronym uh, acronym to something called the distributor property okay now let's take this problem real quick I'm just going to show you real fast there's going to be other videos on this uh, I'm sure I've done it before but I don't want to I want to keep this video about the foil method but I just want you to understand the foil method is only to go only going to be in situations like uh, x minus 7 times 3x squared plus 2 okay binomial times binomial and, the, and this could be a different power right this is a foil method situation right these are not but before you get into the foil method you got to know how to multiply um, using the distributive property all right so you got to understand how to do something like this is x times 3x squared that would be 3x cubed x times negative 2x will give me minus 2x squared and x times 7 will be positive 7x so you should at a minimum know the distributive property and then generally uh, uh, speaking most uh, teachers or curriculum will walk you to the foil method and then you graduate to all this kind of fun stuff right don't be afraid of it um, you know multiplying polynomials uh, there's a couple different techniques and I'll do some more videos on this but just first things first make sure you understand how to first apply the distributive property you got to know how to work with powers and and combining like terms and then the foil method really master that and then you can move into um, you know more difficult polynomials okay so anyways foil first outer inner last <clears throat> excuse me definitely um, something you absolutely need to know so, uh, uh, you know, hopefully this video helps you out. Again, remember, this is for special case uh, situation only. Don't try to apply the FOIL method on things where you can't. All right. So, uh, again, uh, if you're new to my YouTube channel, by the way, uh, I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos. I've been on YouTube for, I don't know, over 10 years. Obviously, you probably could tell I love teaching math. So I have a lot of problems there. But if you really want my full best instruction, you want to go into one of my classes. I would suggest maybe like a pre-algebra, algebra one class if you're learning this would be appropriate. Hey, if you like this video, definitely consider smashing that like button. And um, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.